Let me show you my top four lightweight strollers and each one is going to be a little different. They're all going to be different in terms of their affordability and they all have different features. So you can be sure that you will find a stroller that might fit your needs for your family and for yourself. And the reason why we're focusing on lightweight is because once your child grows up a little, you might want to have a lightweight stroller just to make it easier for them to walk and to take them around. So this is the Duna Licky Trike S3. It's TSA approved. It weighs just about 14.77 pounds. Weight capacity is 37 and a half. And it comes in multiple modes, parent, push, tricycle, bike, and folded. It's very small, but it's going to be a little bit different. And this is going to be the Evan Flow Gold Auto. It weighs just 18 pounds, but the weight capacity is 54, 55 pounds and up, and you can take it out anywhere. It sets up very quickly. The GB Pocket Air is TSA approved. You can pretty much put it in the upper compartment on a plane. It opens up in about 10 seconds, and it comes with a breathable mesh fabric, small visor, and it's double wheeled for the most maneuverability. And then we're going to wrap up on our fourth, which is a outsider the dream on me stroller which is going to be multi-purpose it has a five point harness it can be a stroller scooter or an open rider the weight capacity is 45 pounds and it weighs 13 and a half pounds but it's not going to be as simple to open as close as the others the duna has very good build quality everything is well constructed is lightweight and you can move the pedals around while the evanflow auto is going to be the largest of the bunch but you can have an easy recline and your child has a ton of space with a under cubby so it's easier to keep things around with those double wheels to take them around the mall or even a local shop like a Costco. Now the Duna costs about $250 so it's going to be more expensive than something like the Evanflow Auto which you can get for about $150. And if you're looking for the next upcomer I think the Pocket Air from GB is very good because you could take it around on the plane. It is so small and for anyone with a small car, this might be the best option for you because it is ultra portable. It is the size of a book bag and they can even put it in a bag for a book bag. The Dream On Me is just a very versatile, otherwise known as the Disney stroller because you could take this around Disney World and you don't have to worry about beating it up. It's very durable. Your kid has a lot of air and they have a great view with that 270 degree panoramic view. And if your child is larger you can even convert it into a scooter or for other purposes now this is the average setup times of each one i have a timer here they do not look a trike all you got to do is open it up clamp everything together set up your handle and set up your handle if you want to push or you can have your child just use it as a tricycle or as a bike themselves as they get older so there's a lot of versatility here which makes sense because this option is the only one that can do all three and is very small Duna is really known for their innovation and this is exactly in line with what they do. They make a tremendous product that you can take around with you that is versatile but is on the premium side. Now let's take a look at the Evanflow Gold Auto. It has a button here. Now the button is a little tricky sometimes it can get caught but once you have it open it takes about 10 seconds to fully open it you have a large sun canopy and it can store your stuff. So it has the heaviest duty frame. So it's going to be one of those mall crawling strollers. The GB Pocket Air, it takes 10 seconds to open. All you got to do is undo one hook. And after you open it up about four or five times, it will just pop open every single time. So you can open this and close it in about 10 seconds. And a little bit off camera, but the Dream On Me stroller, I ran out of space here in my camera view. But the Dream On Me stroller has a little bit of a different system because things are connected by straps and by Velcro. So because of that, it's going to be a little bit trickier to open and close because it's not as modular as the other systems. But it takes about 24 seconds to open it into the stroller mode. And if you want to take off the handles, you could just take off the handles and use it as a traditional open stroller. So what about folding them? Well, the Dream On Me is going to be the trickiest, I think, because everything is not interconnected. You just have to undo the straps. You're going to be pulling up while pulling down, which is sometimes tricky for some. But generally, once you get the hang of it, it should take about 30 seconds. The GB Pocket Air, I mean, it is a 10 second fold down. You can see how easy it is. All you got to do is pop it down, close it, fold it, hook it, and you're set. It stands up on its own as well. The Evanflow Auto also very easy because it's going to be just folding in to kind of like a transformer and then it comes with a handle, a removable handle at that, but definitely the heaviest out of the bunch. And the little trike, 
is a little bit more comprehensive, especially if you have all the components because you have to unhook things like the handle here and you have to place it down on the side. And then you're just gonna be folding everything modularly and then collapsing the back seat. If you don't have the back seat because you have it in a bike mode, it's gonna be super fast to break this down. So overall, what are my assessments? All of them are extremely maneuverable. I think the Duna is probably the most versatile because your child can engage with it directly instead of just being pushed around. However, the GB is definitely gonna be the best for the airport. The Dream on Me is gonna be the best value because it's interactive, it's open, my son loves it, and we could take it everywhere, but it's not gonna be as interlocking as some of the other com competitors. And I think the ebb and flow is the one we use the most because it has the most space so that we can put all of our stuff in there. I know some people talk about the squeaky wheels, but I never found that to be a real issue. So thanks for watching guys. These are my four favorite lightweight strollers and they all come in different prices. They all are different values, but they all work well for me and my family. So I'll catch you next time. This is Dave with the French Glow signing off. Bye, bye, bye.